Um, so I guess, what is your uh, message to voters today um, on election day? Yeah, well, I think that uh, I've traveled the district. I've gone everywhere where people are. I've done 20 town halls, stops in every single county. And I think the message is going to be heard loud and clear today at the polls that uh, Iowans are tired of the uh, Biden, Pelosi, and Mathis agenda. We're going to put a stop to that today um, and put a check on this government. Um, if you look at the, the problems I've heard about for the last 22 months, it's the inflation that everybody's experiencing. Um, it's the, the gas prices. It's the open border. The list goes on and on. And I think People are going to see um, her true colors in this election, and I think they're going to send a resounding message that they want someone who's going to uh, fight for taxpayers, for rural America, and for safety and security. Um, how are you feeling today? What are your uh, plans for, uh, for today and for the rest of the day? I feel great. Um, I'm going to be out and about um, throughout the day today. I um, want to make sure I'm getting out and supporting our volunteers who have spent a lot of time, talent, and effort to uh, make sure that I get across the finish line first today. So I'm going to help support them with the day today. idea, I guess, what your involvement would be in, in, in leadership if uh, Republicans were able to retake the House? Well, I think specifically my, my goal is to make sure Iowa has a seat at the table, right? I mean, however that looks is going to be my job. I obviously got to get past tonight uh, before we can have those discussions, but um, I'm the only Iowan on the Appropriations Committee, and I think my role is going to be absolutely critical there, especially when it comes to oversight and accountability. Um, we've tried to fulfill that, even serving in the minority while still delivering on Iowa's priorities. Again, getting those targeted investments here, but that oversight is going to 